first time ever to copy the sound of a real tube amp into a digital device. And uh, we are going to show you how this works. And for this I'm going to welcome Mr. Michael Elsner here on stage, recording and performing artist out of LA. And um, we will show you how we can bring the sound of a tube amp into the profile amplifier. Okay, so first we are playing um, through the tube head here. So, to proof, that's the tube amplifier. That's the pure dry sound we have, and we're going to profile this. And um, I just hit profiling, and the process starts. What is happening right now, uh, the guitar signal is fed through the profiling amplifier into the tube head, which goes into this isolation cap we use just for um, volume purposes to not up upset the sound police here. And an SM57 microphone is picking up the sound from the speaker, which is routed back into the microphone input of the profiling amplifier. And now it's done. The process is done. So, um, Playing. Now the reference amp, the rectifier. That's the rectifier, and now here's the profile. This is the rectifier. This is the profile. The amp is off. Now we're in here with the same sound we got from this amplifier. So, but that's not just a snapshot of the sound. We have covered the entire sonic DNA of this amplifier, which means we can do edits to the sound. Work with the game. architecture and we have some very unique features like we can control the volume of the pick actually or make it go away then we have access to the preamp definition which allows us to take um, the sound of the, the the way the distortion sounds from this modern or cheeky like sound to a darker vintage distortion type or make it pretty modern boutique like and then we have a great compressor which allows us to that uh, to work with the guitar just with the volume knob in a way that you can go from a clean sound just with uh, controlling the guitar to a distorted sound even out the volume difference clean to serious distortion just by using the volume knob of the guitar and you, can, and you can hear the thump and the punch the thing has, it's really amazing so, that we're done basically, we add a little bit of effect delay, maybe. Yeah, and that's it basically. Once you're happy, you just store that as a preset and you have this rectifier channel 
in this digital box. This works with any amplifier. Just uh, stick a microphone in front of the speaker cabinet, run the profiling process, do your edits, and soon you will have an arsenal of sounds. These sounds, these profiles are very, very small documents. You can put them onto a thumb drive, USB thumb drive, and email them to your friends. There will be a community on the website where people can exchange their profiles. And um, this device will be shipping in May, and it will retail in the US for $1,600.